Hey, this is a quick video to show you the Hungry Feed plugin for WordPress to display RSS feeds inline on your blog posts and pages. And uh, the way you do that is you use the WordPress shortcode uh, feature. And there's a little example of that here. But I'm going to show you the how to do it from beginning to end. I have a test blog set up here. And we're going to add a new post. Now what we need to enter here is a uh, WordPress shortcode. And that's two brackets followed by or inside it the uh, name of the plugin. And then any parameters that that plugin wants. Hungry feed just needs a URL parameter. Now we need an RSS feed to put in here. And as an example, I'm going to use Google News. If you scroll down to the bottom of the Google News page, uh, they have an RSS link. And uh, this is an RSS feed. And I'm going to copy the URL. That's what we want. And that is what we're going to use as our RSS feed URL. OK. I just pasted that in, and I'm going to hit Publish. There we go. Now, when we look at this page, I'm going to refresh. We see it just pulled in all of the news directly from the uh, Google News feed. And it is uh, embedded as part of my page, so it's not using Ajax. It's not using the browser to pull that in. It's actually pulling it in on the server and displaying it inline. Now, if you don't like the way it looks, there are a whole bunch of parameters that you can use. And if you go to the Hungry Feed page, uh, which is very simple.com slash products slash hungry feed, then uh, scroll down to the instructions, shortcode parameters. It's going to show you um, all of these different things that you can do. And they're pretty self explanatory. Maximum items, so you could only show, say, the top three. Um, you can turn fields on and off that are displayed. Um, there's a template functionality. If you don't like the way it looks, you can completely customize everything and uh, a bunch of other stuff. So I invite you to check them out. And uh, that's basically it. Thanks for watching.